Welcome back everyone. So um, I actually end up having the scrolling OSD with my LaForge V4. Um, I actually sent it in for repair and I'm going to tell you how my experience went. Alright, so um, here I have not even opened this box yet. I just got it shipped back from them. Uh, to tell you a little bit about my experience, um, I did do priority shipping to get it sent to them. Um, I started this last Monday and I shipped it out. Uh, it cost me around $7.50 to send it back to them. To, me, to them. Um, it actually got there on time, got there on Wednesday according to what the U, uh, U UPS or US or United Postal Service said and um, yeah I just got it back so I haven't opened it up or anything tested it out so we're going to do that here so they did ship it back priority mail so that was good to get it back to me faster all right let's see here we got it wrapped up in some paper here all right so in my understanding you don't get your module back so I'm, I am um, want to look at it here let's see LaForge fat short module uh, nothing looks a little any different all right let's open her up all right so um, I actually didn't ship them with anything um, all I sent them was the module itself, uh, and they actually sent me another one of these. Um, they also sent me another door, um, which kind of was unexpected. So, um, let's see here. So, I got an extra door out of That was nice of them, an extra um, connector. Uh, and it looks like... The buttons are already soldered on. Um, it does look like they do have a screen protector on it. So that's good. I was kind of worried about getting one that's got a scratched up screen. Screen looks perfect. Uh, perfect nice. Um, of course this kind of corrosion look on the uh, protector for the screen around here. I mean that's normal. Um, let's see, all my buttons are clicky. Yeah. Um, everything looks good so far. Uh, let's do a USB plug in uh, just to make sure it powers up before I put it in my goggles. All right, looks like it powered up with the V4 firmware. And of course, it won't do anything without the configurator. All right. So good so far. Let's get them in the goggles here. So it was a nice touch. That I got an extra door with it and a um, a little uh, 90 degree mo uh, SMA connector here. So that was nice of them. Um, I do like that it had the, the screen protector on it. So um, yeah, let's get it in the goggles. All right, and let me get my my door. Since I've already got it cut out and the button's already pre-done. So obviously before you put it in the door, you got to plug them in. Let's see, make sure I got it going the right way. And of course, you've got to give it a little bit of pressure here to get it all the way in. So I had a problem last time I put in my goggles and I didn't have it all the way in it. And it didn't recognize. Alright, so clip in the buttons first. Line up my pins. All right, so the moment of truth, let's get them powered up. All 
All right, we're going to cycle through a little bit. See if we got any flicker. Um, so looks like um, looks good. Um, no OSD flicker. Um, so we'll have to do a little testing to make sure everything's working correctly um, as far as my signal strength and all that good stuff. But as far as the OSD flickering, um, didn't see any flickering going on. Of course, it's still, um, it's not exactly straight stable, but um, it, it is um, definitely very usable. Not flickering or anything like that but it does kind of shimmer just a little bit but i think that's just um the technology it really has nothing to do with the actual osd flickering um like i said it's definitely completely acceptable and usable yeah so um now as far as the in-flight osd i have to get back with you on that but um yeah, it looks like the fix works. So, uh, thank you very much for watching.